Hello. Hi, today we're going to work on a special Kwanzaa activity. In the bag that you picked up from school, um, you should have a black piece of paper that has some uh, cuts in it, and there are five little uh, two-inch pieces of paper. Uh, you should have either three green and two red, or two green and three red. If you didn't get to pick up your um, materials from school, you could use just a piece of uh, brown paper bag or something, or if you have some construction paper at school, at home, or just paper. So you uh, would have a piece of paper, and you can fold it in half, and then cut it almost to the edge. You can see we didn't cut it all the way through, just all uh, almost to the edge. And so as you um, look at your special mat, this is a mat that um, is uh, a Kwanzaa tradition. You would have a mat that you would have all of your special things that you uh, use to celebrate Kwanzaa that would be touching your mat. So today we're going to make our um, Rikeka mat. So I have three red and two green. So I'm going to start with my red and then they'll be green, then red, green, and then red again. So you can see that there's going to be a pattern, but we're going to be weaving today. So you're going to start with the color you have the most of, and then you're going to weave, which means going up and down, um, under and over, under and over, and under and over. All right, so it looks like that. All right, and you scooch it way over to the side, and then you're going to use your other color. I have green. Red and green and black are special colors for Kwanzaa. Now, this is the um, part you need to pay attention to is that you go under and over and under and over, but you do it the opposite way that you did the first one. The first one, if you started going over, this one you're going to go under. So then you get your next color, go over and under, over and under. We call that weaving. We weave under, over, over, under, bada boom, just like that. Line them up, push them all next to each other, and then it will be time for your next color. Again, do whatever the opposite one. If you went, uh, if you started red over, then you're going to go under. It's a little bit trickier as you go because you don't have as much room, but you can do it. You'll be an expert by the end. Push it over so it looks like that. And then the last one is the hardest one because there's not much room. So you're going under and over the same kind of weaving. Be really careful not to tear your paper. But if you tear your paper, you can always use some tape or a little bit of glue stick and make it look perfect. All right. Or practically perfect will be awesome. So this is your special uh, Makeko mat and we use this in our Kwanzaa celebration. So as we we're going to learn today about some more of the Kwanzaa traditions that people um, that people use around this time of year, this holiday season. So uh, if you want to, you can take some glue stick. You don't have to do this. You can put a little bit of glue underneath the um, the colors on the edges so that you have a nice tight mat that won't come apart. Again, you can do that at the top and the bottom. And then turn it over and see what's on the back. Oh, it looks just as beautiful that way also. So hope you had fun and enjoy your Makeka mat.